They have come from various countries to discuss one of the most pressing issues on the continent, drugs and substance abuse. Reformed drug addicts, researchers, health practitioners and policy makers are meeting in Lusaka for a three-day high-level session on drugs. President Haga Inde Hichirema was represented by Vice President Mutarena Rumango called on African countries to tighten access to drugs. Controlling access to drug through a legislation and implementation of appropriate laws. Cross-border cooperation between countries and continents. Combining drug control policies with alcohol control policies, including where and what times alcohol is sold. Health Minister Sylvia Masebo was one of the speakers at the three-day event. We are dealing with a pandemic to a scale unseen in the past. The statistics of drug use, addiction and resulting social, economic and health consequences compel us to, co to act urgently. As parents, teachers, lawmakers, service providers and citizens, it is our responsibility to provide young people with the opportunity to work in partnership with, with us and give them the voice while they lack the voice. Listen to them while they have the voice. The rise in drug abuse among youths and women is one of the biggest worries among its stakeholders. The U.S. government has also helped to support the creation of the International Society of Substance Use Professionals, or ISSUP, to share information and trainings on substance use disorder prevention and treatment. The non-medical use of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances are on the sharp rise across the globe, including the continent, which is a grave concern to us, especially for those with special vulnerabilities or those who may be more at risk, such as young people, women, children in our society. During the meeting, <laughs> former drug addicts will highlight how they managed to break free from the abuse. A big number of youths from across Africa are also in attendance to highlight challenges youths face in the wake of increased drug abuse. Paul Shalala, ZNBC News in Lusaka.